Argyle ISD will be hiring a safety consultant after the same construction job is the site of two deaths in less than a week's time. This morning, 22-year-old Danny Moran died after getting caught underneath a flatbed driven by his father. Last week, a metal frame collapsed on top of Julio Ledesma, killing him. So for the immediate future, all construction projects are on hold, and Fox Force Calvert Collins was at an emergency school board meeting tonight. All right, initiated this meeting by, by the district or by the builders? This was by the district, Steve, but North Star Builders has several projects with Argyle ISD and now all are suspended for the time being and no additional cost to taxpayers. But this right behind me was the site where that steel frame collapsed last week and also where that flatbed ran over that construction worker earlier today. And it will remain vacant until a safety consultant can come in and determine how both deaths happened. It's it's just devastating to to lose another life. It's the second time in a week students have seen an ambulance on campus. A witness called 911 at 1030 this morning. OK, so the 18 wheeler is rolled over. It rolled over a, a gentleman um, and he's laying on the ground. Uh, this is at the North Star Builders trailer shack at the Argyle High School and the the worker is laying uh, face down, and uh, I'm sure I'm the first one, although I see another lady calling. But anyway, just need an ambulance out here. Is he pinned under the vehicle? No, the, the, it's already, he's, he's uh, free of the vehicle, okay. but he is not moving. 22-year-old Danny Moran died on scene. Here are pictures of him from Facebook. He worked for Duran's Trucking and was helping navigate this flatbed out of the construction site when somehow he got caught and pulled underneath. His father was behind the wheel. Family members were consoling him minutes after the accident happened. Those are very tragic events, very tragic. Last Thursday, 36-year-old single father of three, Julio Ledesma, died after the steel frame of Argyle's new indoor practice facility collapsed on top of him. Friends, family, and Argyle parents held a candlelight vigil at the site on Friday night. As news of today's incident spread through the small Denton County community, the school board called an emergency meeting tonight. All in favor say aye. 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 After almost two hours in executive session talking with attorneys, they unanimously voted to hire a safety consultant and for the existing builder, North Star, to suspend all current projects. Superintendent Talena Wright said the safety consultant's report will be the first step in moving forward. An evaluation and assessment of the safety regarding the, the site for our students, our staff, our parents. Now, North Star Builders representatives were at the meeting but did not want to comment on the accidents or this work suspension afterward. As far as a timeline goes as to when this uh, safety consultant would be hired or issued a report, the superintendent did not know about that official timeline. Also, the Denton County Sheriff's Office and OSHA are both investigating these two deaths. Steve. Okay, Calvert Collins, live tonight. Thank you.